Hello friends, good to see you. Short straddle is one of the famous intraday trading strategy. Although there are no secrets about this strategy, it is important to know several facts of this strategy. Friends, in this video, I will be covering what is a short straddle strategy, what is its real edge, why it is a high risk, high reward strategy, what are the types of stop losses used for this strategy and which one is better and why this strategy works only for few people. And in the end, I will be covering the suggested short straddle strategy that you may be interested. I recommend you to watch this video till the end to get a complete idea. Let us jump into the details. Short straddle is nothing but sell at the money, call option and put option and collect the premium. This strategy can be initiated at any time during the intraday right from 9.20 to 9.30, 10.30, etc. Some people even do it at 3.20 pm. The reason why it is done normally at 9.20 is you get maximum amount of premium at 9.20. So that is why this strategy is also famously known as 9.20 straddle. Let me show you how the payoff graph looks like using the sensible. So here is a strategy builder of sensible let me click on it to get a strategy builder with nifty as a default instrument normally this strategy is done with nifty and bank nifty because of the liquidity so now let me select bank nifty and then build a strategy so currently bank nifty is at 40900 so that is the at the money strike so let me sell one call option at the money that is 40,900 and also the put option at the money. Let me click on done. So this is how the payoff graph looks like. You will get the break even also. So the total premium that you have collected is 306.45 plus 269 is the total collected premium for this short straddle. So let me zoom in this a little bit so that you can. Yeah. Now, if you look at the payoff graph, as long as the market stays within this range, within this range, you are going to make money. Let us assume that the bank Nifty moved around the day and came back exactly at 40,900, which is a ATM strike. You will make a maximum profit. You can see here the blue line there is a maximum profit here. If you have initiated a straddle at 920 and the day ends exactly at 40,900, you will make a maximum profit. So the maximum profit is around 4,258. If that happens to be an expiry day, if it expires exactly at the strike, the ATM strike, you will make the maximum profit which is equal to the premium that you have collected that is 14,386. So what it means is the DK is the maximum at the at the money strikes. That is a point I want to make here. Friends, the real edge of this strategy is the to capture the highest DK or the maximum possible DK at the money or around the at the money strikes. The DK again depends on the day. This strategy is normally done on the weekly expiry of Nifty and Bank Nifty. So that means on Friday there is a least DK and on Thursday there is a maximum DK. So what we have seen is that to capture the maximum DK or the best possible DK we need to initiate the short straddle at the money or at least around the at the money strike. But once you initiate the short straddle at the money in the morning, for example, the market will make all kinds of movements. So your initiated short straddle at that particular time, which was at the money will no longer be at the money. So the market can make a trending move or sideways, or it can be a V shape, W shape, M shape, etc. So to capture the DK, we need to shift or move this straddle to the new ATM where the market is moving, which is very difficult thing to do. How do we capture this DK in a different types of market? It is possible to capture this DK in different types of markets such as sideways trending, etc. There are two ways to do this. The first one is by doing the adjustments that is 
shifting the straddle to the latest ATM where the market moves so that you remain most of the time at the money so that you get the best DK. The second way to do is designing a stop loss based on the type of a market in which you want to capture the DK. If you want to capture the DK in the sideways market, go for the combined stop loss. For both sideways and trending market, you can go for the individual leg stop loss. In a moment from now, I will explain more detail about these two stop losses. If you want to capture all types of markets, then go for a stop loss which is based on indicators such as moving average or super trend etc. How the combined premium stop loss works is for example for bank nifty if you have collected 300 by selling the ATM call option and another 300 points by selling the ATM put option the total collected premium is how much it is 600 points. Now if you have decided to put 20 rupees as a stop loss for this straddle your stop loss will be 620. If you decide to put 50 rupees, your stop loss will be 650. And if it is 100 points, it is 700 as the stop loss. So that is how you have to go for the combined stop loss. If you choose the a smaller combined stop loss, there are high chances that your stop loss is getting hit, especially for bank nifty because the bank nifty movement is quite violent. And this kind of a stop loss method requires you to use the algo software and the points that you have to decide based on your risk management and the position size and the maximum loss that you want to take and on the day on which you are trading for example on thursday it, it would be different and friday it would be different etc how this individual leg stop loss works is taking the same example where we have collected 300 points from call option and 300 points from put option. So if you decide to go for 25% of the collected premium for individual legs, the 25% of 300 is 75. So the call option stop loss will be 300 plus 75 is the stop loss for the call option. Similarly, in this case, it happened to be uh, 300 for put also the put stop loss will also be 375 so like this you can decide to have 30 percent 40 percent etc this kind of a stop loss can be done without the algo software you just have to place the individual leg stop losses one by one this is a high risk high reward stop loss because when market moves in one direction for example, if the market moves in upper direction, your call option will hit the stop loss, whereas your put option will give you a maximum profit. Similarly, when the market goes down, your put option will hit the stop loss and call option will give you a maximum profit. This is how in a trending market, this kind of a stop loss gives you a very good return. But when the market moves in V shape or W shape or M shape, what will happen is, for example, in a V shape, both stop, loss will, stop losses will get hit, eating a maximum loss. That is why a V shape move gives you a maximum loss and trending moves give you a maximum profit for this kind of a stop loss. So this is how you need to understand how the stop losses work. Friends, you may now ask me what kind of a stop loss is a better stop loss. It depends on various factors and it differs for individual trader to individual trader. If you don't want to see a, a maximum MTM swing during the market hour or a maximum drawdown, a single leg stop loss is not for you. It is better to go for a combined premium as a stop loss. If you are comfortable with high risk, high reward, you do not mind seeing big MTM swing and drawdowns. If you have a good discipline in trading, you can go for the single leg stop loss. Personally, I practice a combined premium as a stop loss for this strategy. Friends, it is very, very important to 
know that to make the intraday straddle a strategy that gives you a consistent return, you need to have a system in place. System, what I mean is the series of trades with the same set of rules or parameters. For example, if you pick a combined premium as a stop loss, you need to execute series of trades over a period of time. Meaning, you need to execute 20 trades, 40 trades with the same set of stop loss and other rules. Only then you will see the profitable results. During these 20 or 40 trades, you may see a drawdowns. And it is very important to pay attention to the position size. Don't overdo the position size, especially for the individual leg stop loss kind of a system. Because if first few trades get into a drawdown, it will impact your psychology. You may end up not even continuing the next set of trades in a series. That is why it is very important to have a system and stick to that system. The reason why the intraday short straddle works for few people and not working for many people is that there is a lack of understanding of the system and the risks associated with it. And even if there is an understanding of the system, people fail to follow the system very strictly. I mean, they may not execute n number of trades over a period of time with the same set of rules. When one system fails, they hop to the other system. For example, when the individual leg system fails, when it gives a big drawdown, they may switch to combined stop loss. And also when it gives a good profit, people may tend to do a over position sizing. The best way to make it work is to build a system considering the various factors like your risk management plan and most importantly, your psychology. What kind of a system suits you to execute those n number of trades over a period of time? and do the back testing, do the fine tuning and go for the system. It is better to automate the system so that it will improve the speed of execution and also avoids the manual error. Friends, here is an intraday short straddle that we are practicing. That is what we can suggest. It is nothing but a combined short straddle with the combined premium as the stop loss. What is the meaning of combined short straddle? You have to initiate two short straddles at the money strike. For example, if bank nifty is trading now at 41,200, you have to initiate one at 41,200. And if you're expecting the bank nifty moving upwards by 100 or 200 points, initiate another straddle together at 41,300 strike. So both put together, there are two short straddles at 41,200 and 41,300. Why we have to go for a combined short straddle? It is because there are higher chances of sustaining the spikes from the stop loss getting hit. We know that bank nifty can move 100, 200 points in one minute candle or five minutes candle, which makes the stop loss getting hit. Same is the case for Nifty which can move 50 points up or down in a very short period leading to a stop losses getting hit. So because of this reason to sustain the spikes it is better to go for two straddles at the money. Why combined premium as a stop loss is because as I explained it is the low risk stop loss strategy for this intraday straddle. So combining the two straddles along with the stop loss as a combined premium gives us a better sustaining capacity in the market with a lower risk. So that is why a double straddle or a combined straddle with the combined stop loss as the premium. So let me explain you this with the sensible tool. I am in the sensible tool and trying to build a short straddle with the bank nifty. I have selected the 22nd September 2022 as the series which is the next week series. Let me select a ATM strike that is 41,200 that is where the bank nifty is trading right now and let me select the call option and put option. This becomes at the money straddle. Now we are expecting the bank nifty to go up by another 100 
or 200 points let's say i will also initiate another short straddle together with 41200 at 41300 as well so put together there are two straddles now let me say done and here is the payoff graph you can see you can get the break even etc here for the stop loss what you need to do is you need to add all these premiums that is collected by both the straddles and then add the amount of stop loss that you would like to have 20 40 60 or whatever based on your risk management etc so that is how you need to decide the stop loss for the combined straddle you can also track the performance of this combined straddle in the sensible tool itself using the strategy chart tab you can see here the strategy price performance versus bank nifty movement this chart is not very user friendly you can also use a tool card iChart to track the performance of such straddles let me quickly show you the iChart tool i have already logged into the iChart tool and selected the straddle combo charts and the selected strikes are 41200 and 41300 of course the tool gives to select another straddle here but i suggest not to do that because the chances of stop loss getting hit will increase and at the bottom you see the graph how the strategy has performed over a period of time you can see uh, today 15th uh, September at 9.30 how it has started from here it went up and then started decaying. You can see the, the price on the right side. Idea is just to show you the performance of the uh, strategy, how it behaves, not the tool itself. When the market goes beyond the range that you have predicted, what you have to do is you will have to shift the entire combined straddle to the new ATM strike where the market is or you can add another combined short straddle at the current ATM strike. This intraday short straddle definitely requires a algo software or the automation. We have automated this strategy ourselves and we are using our own software. A quick takeaway is that intraday short straddle strategy is a strategy that captures the maximum decay at the at the money strikes it is a high risk high reward strategy it requires you to build a system based on the various parameters such as risk management psychology etc to be consistently profitable with this strategy you need to strictly follow the system meaning execute n number of trades over a period of one of the recommended intraday short straddle is a combined short straddle or a double short straddle with the combined premium as the stop loss. Friends, I hope you got more insights into the famous intraday short straddle strategy. Do support me by pressing the like button. Thank you for your time. See you soon with another video.